Hi guys, today I'll be teaching you how I fill in my brows. It's a pretty simple routine and most of the products you can pick up at the drugstore, so it's pretty affordable as well. So if you want to see how I do it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is grabbing my spoolie and I'm using that just to brush up all of the brow hairs and kind of brush them right into place. I like to work my brow hairs pretty much straight up. Moving on to my gel liner, I am going to dip my angled brush into that. And you only want to start off with the smallest amount, a little bit goes a long way. So what we're going to do is first trace out the bottom edge of your brow. And as you can tell, I take short strokes and I'm using a really light pressure because I don't want it to be super dark at first. I want to be able to control it and to build it up. And then I ditch back in again and I'm going to fill in the edges in the end. I like to concentrate most of the product underneath the brow and then from here over because I like to kind of have that ombre effect. Once I have the tail end filled in, I'm going to start moving my brush forward and just using whatever is left on the brush and creating another line on top. And then I switch, turn my angled brush around and start flicking. And this will help to imitate the hairs and just make the brows look a little bit more natural. So just flick those. And then if you do get any above, just take your finger and it right up. Keeping that spoolie once again and brushing the hairs upward. This helps to blend the product into the brows and make it a little bit more natural. And then I like to scooch, um, move my spoolie back and forth just like this and that will lighten up that inner part because like I said I like that ombre look so I like to keep it light in the front. And then I just go back in and touch up any areas where I see. I really like to keep the bottom edge pretty sharp. Take your spoolie and brush upwards. If you do make some mistakes, we are going to be using our concealer to clean it up. So what I do is grab my concealer and then this angled brush and just grab a little bit off of the concealer brush and then I go in and start to place that under the brow. This will really create a, a really nice sharp edge and it also will highlight and lift your brow. And then I kind of work the concealer up in the front part of my brow and that will once again help with that ombre effect. Alright and there you have a nice before and after. As you can tell there's a huge difference between both brows. Okay so brush the hairs upwards. You can be able to tell my eyebrows do not match perfectly and most people don't so that's normal. Now I'm dipping into a small amount into my product and then applying that right underneath the same way I did the other brow. And I don't know if anyone else has this problem but I always have that one brow that I like better than the other one. Isn't it funny how that works? And it can depend on the day. I mean it's not always the same one that I like better so who knows. I'm just filling in the tail end and the arch part. I am no brow expert, so this is just what works for me. I'm just turning the brush around and doing those light feathery strokes to imitate the hair. I lighten up the pressure the closer I get to um, the inner corner of my brow. A spoolie once again and 
brush up those hairs. And then kind of rock it back and forth in the inner portion to lighten it up. In that angled brush and just swiping it on there and then applying it right below the brow, working it up towards the brow so that I can create that nice sharp edge. And then once I have my brows filled in the way that I like, I just go over them again with the spoolie because you just really do not want any harsh edges. You want them to look as natural as they can. So I'm just going to blend this next step is optional, but I'm going to be applying a clear brow gel into my brows. I like to start in the front and push the brow hairs up, and then I kind of follow them the rest of the way through all the way onto the tail. So just brush the brow hairs up, and then follow them through. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Okay, and here you have the finished brows. Like I said, I am not a brow expert. This is just what I am liking at the moment, and it's always changed as far as what I do in my technique. But so far, this is the best that I've gotten my brows to look. Also, one other tip that I want to say is if you do decide that you have some hairs outside of where you filled it in, this is the perfect time to go in and tweeze those hairs because that way you know that you're not getting anything that you shouldn't be. But I hope you guys enjoyed our maybe and maybe learn something new today. If you have any brow products that are your favorites, be sure to comment down below. If you like this video, be sure to like it and also subscribe so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all soon. Bye!